हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर राजाराम ढोक फ्रॉम सावित्रीबाई फुले पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी एफिलेटेड एग्रीकल्चरल डेवलपमेंट ट्रस्ट शारदाबाई पवार महिला कॉलेज शारदा नगर बारामती लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे वी लर्न अबाउट दी कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री लेक्चर सिक्स इन दिस सिक्स लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अबाउट दी फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग दी स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स कंपाउंड सो देर इज द कोऑर्डिनेट कॉम्प्लेक्सेस दैट कॉम्प्लेक्सेस हैव सर्टेन स्टेबिलिटी एंड दिस स्टेबिलिटी इन डिफरेंट कंपाउंड इज डिफरेंट सम आर more stronger complexes some are weaker complexes so stability of complexes are various or varies this stability depends upon certain factors so which are that factors and how that factors affect so there are various factors which affect on the stability of the complex compound in that factors there are different factors and mainly there are three factors and these factors are mainly depends for the stability of the coordinate complex in that first factor is nature of central metal ion second is nature of ligand and third factor is chelation now we see in detail how these three factors affects and for that purpose we take different examples so firstly we see the first factor nature of central metal ion so we know that metal is present at the center in the coordinate complex and that metal ion is electron acceptor and ligand is an electron donor so when that metal accept more and more electrons from the ligand then such type of metal is more strength and such type of complexes formed are more stronger complex and so nature of that central metal ion or atom is very important so this nature of metal depends upon again different factors and in that first is charge to radius ratio of that central metal ion or atom means size of that metal and radius of that metal and charge of that metal they are the important factors then second factor is electronegativity of the metal ion so we know that electronegativity means the capacity to attract electron from the others and if this capacity of metal to attract electron from the ligand is more then such type of complexes are more stable complexes or they are stronger complexes so we see these two points in detail by taking the different examples so firstly we see the charge to radius ratio of central metal ion so charge on the metal that is equal to the oxidation number or oxidation state of that metal for example fe plus 3 that plus 3 oxidation state is present fe plus 2 that is plus 2 oxidation number is present then mn plus 2 like that different metal has certain oxidation number and they have certain charge now what is charge to radius ratio and this charge to radius ratio for that purpose we can determine the charge density so 
तो चार्ज डेंसिटी मीन्स चार्ज ऑन दी मेटल आयन डिवाइडेड बाय रेडियस ऑफ द सेम मेटल आयन मीन्स ऑन दैट मेटल हाउ मेनी चार्ज इज प्रेजेंट दैट चार्ज इज डिवाइडेड बाय रेडियस ऑफ दैट सेम आयन देन वी गेट द चार्ज डेंसिटी so that greater the charge and smaller the size of the that metallic iron then in that metal greater the stability of the complex shown by the metal me simply we say that the metal which is more charge and small size that forms more stronger complex and metal which is larger size and less charge that forms less stable complex we take one example from that you get idea that is fe complexes fe plus 3 and fe plus 2 so that complexes formed by fe plus 3 that is more stable than the fe plus 2 why this because If we see the charge to size ratio of Fe plus two and Fe plus three, then Fe plus three is more charge than the Fe plus two. If we see the size of Fe plus two and Fe plus three, then Fe plus three is smaller size, or its radius is less than Fe plus two. So simply, we say that Fe plus three. has more charge and less radius means its charge density is higher and so fe plus 3 complexes are more stable complexes than fe plus 2 so in the qualitative analysis in the practical we also convert fe plus 2 to the fe plus 3 for the formation of stable state and that is one of the example actually we can carry out in the practical so simply we say that as the charge density of the metal ion increases then the stability of that complex also increases now we see the second factor which effect on the stability of complexes by metal that is electronegativity of metal ion so in the electronegativity of metal ion if that metal has higher electronegativity then such type of metal attracts the ligand more effectively and it forms stronger complexes so simply we say that if that metal has higher electronegativity then it attracts electrons of the ligand more effectively and such complexes are more stronger complexes than the other metals which have more electronegativity or less electronegativity again for that purpose we take same example fe plus 3 and fe plus 2 so fe plus 3 is smaller size so it is more electronegative than the fe plus 2 so complexes formed by a p plus 3 is more stable than the a p plus 2 because a p plus 3 is more electronegative than a p plus 2 so in this way in case of the metal simply we remember that if size of the metal is small and charge is large then it forms more stronger complex in case of the electronegativity if electronegativity is more then it forms stronger complex now we see the second factor which effect on the stability of complexes that is the nature of ligand so we know that ligand is the species which have a lone pair of electron and that lone pair of electron is donated to the metal so in case of the ligand if ligands have lone pairs and its ability to donate more and more that lone pair to the metal then that ligand is called a stronger ligand and such type of ligand forms stronger complex 
so in case of the nature of ligand it depends upon the certain property and there are mainly two properties that first is the basic character of ligand so basic character of ligand means that ligand have which property which characteristic that is the basic or acidic and so if that ligand have the more and more basic character then such type of ligand donates their electron to the metal and it forms more stronger complexes so if that ligands have more basic character then that ligands are more property donates the electron to the metal and such type of ligands are called as stronger ligands and such type of ligand forms more stable complexes for that purpose we take the example co carbonyl ligand cn minus ligand so this co cn these are the strong bases so its basic character is very high and so the complexes formed by the cn co it is more stable or they have high strength than the other ligands or comparatively which have less basic character now second factor size and charge of the ligand so when there is small size of the ligand and greater charge on the ligand then such type of ligands attracts towards the metal more effectively and it forms more stronger complexes and for that purpose we take the example of fluorine and chlorine so in case of the fluorine that fluorine forms more st stable complexes than the chlorine because size of fluorine is small size of fluorine is small and charge on the fluorine is more than the chlorine and so chlorine complexes are more stable than the chlorine when it is in the certain ligands very certain complexes then third factor that is chelation so chelation means there is formation of chelate complexes and chelate means krebs crop means when the ligand is polydentate then that polydentate ligands have more than two two or more than two donor atoms and when there are two or more than two donor atoms then such type of ligands forms more stable complexes than monodentate ligand so generally chelate complexes contains five donor atoms six donor atoms and depending upon that they are called as pentadentate hexadentate and that pentadentate hexadentate or bidentate these are the more stable <laughs> here we take one example nien thrice 2 plus in this example en means ethylene diamine and that ethylene diamine is more stable then the ni ns3 6 2 plus ions means in this both the example nickel is the metal but in one there is ethylene diamine ligand is attached and in the other amine ligand is attached so amine ligand is monodentate ligand en is bidentate ligand means that is the polydentate ligand so this polydentate ligands forms more stable complexes than monodentate ligand and so here this ethylene diamine forms more stable complexes it forms a ring of that ligand with the metal and it shows its structure in this way you see in this first structure this platinum metal form complexes with ammonia and bromine here this amine and bromine or bromo 
these are monodentate ligand in the second example nh2 ch2 ch2 nh2 that is amines are attached so these are the polydentate ligand so these polydentate ligands forms more stable complexes and so this complexes is more stable than this complex now we see what is by chelate complex so chelate complexes means which contains chelate ligand or multidentate ligands in that coordinate complexes that is called a chelate complexes and such chelating agents are known or that is called when they attach to the metal ions and in that ligands there are 2 3 4 5 or even more donor atoms present that is called as chelate ligand and complexes formed by that that is called as chelate complexes so we take here some examples cu en twice so4 so this cu en twice so4 that is known as chelate compounds or chelate complexes in that cu en twice complex ion is present so that complex ion is called as chelate ion and in that coordinate complex ethylene diamine is the ligand and that is called as chelate ligand so in this way you can understand the meaning of chelate ligand chelate ion and chelate complex means in the chelate compound chelate complex there is chelate ions and in chelate ion ligand attach that is called as chelating ligands so complexes also contains ligands and that ligands are sometimes labile and some ligands are non labile so we see what is by labile ligand and what is mean by non labile ligand in certain complexes the ligand is exchanged by the other ligand and when one ligand is exchanged by other ligand that is called as labile ligand and such type of complexes in which ligands are exchanged with each other that is called as labile complexes for example we take nih2o6 2 plus and in that when we added the h2 amine nh3 then nh3 is stronger ligand that replaces h2 and there is formation of ni nh3 6 2 plus means in this case amine ligand replaces two water molecule and so that ligand amine ligand replaces water molecule so this water molecule and amine these are called as labile ligands and complexes formed by that that is called as labile complexes but in certain cases the ligands are not exchange they are stable so that is called as non labile or that is also called as inert complexes for example we take the cn ligand so cn ligand is stronger ligand and in the complex we take same example ni cn 6 two plus sorry ni cn 6 four minus in that cn ligand is present and in that ligand or in that complex we add some other ligand like nh3 then nh3 not replaces cn because cn is more stable it is more stronger and so cn is not replaced so that cn is called as non labile ligand and that complexes form that is called as non labile complexes or inert complexes so in this way there is labile complexes and non labile complexes